Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me today. What is that on my wall? It's a nail hole. <laughs> Sorry, that that frightened me for a second. <laughs> Anyways, hello. Um, are we filling this lip color with this eye look? I don't know. I can't tell. I think I like it. I think a nude would also look good. Anyways, not the point of this video. The point of this video is we're gonna talk about some eyeshadows today. Some of my favorites, we're gonna do some swatches. I just wanna talk about them. I wanna have some fun. So let's get into it. First up, we have the Sugary Cosmetics Sugary Hearts Eyeshadow Palette. I've talked about this in a video before, but it is just so beautiful. I love every single shade in here. Uh, this shade right here, which is called My Baby, is on my eyelids today. I really like how this eye look came out, and I'll show you what else I used today. But I used that all over the lid with some glitter glue because they are pressed glitters. This is like me in an eyeshadow palette. First off, I swatched some earlier, and it literally was just like Peeps colors is what I accidentally picked. I picked this one, this one, and this one, and I was like, wow, I love Peeps. <laughs> I love Easter. I think this is perfect for spring, summer, honestly any season because I will wear these year-round, but it is nice for the upcoming seasons, and it's fun and colorful, and I think you should definitely check it out. I'm going to swatch the shades Love Wins, mm, Cutie Pie, Text Me, and Crush. <laughs> Oh, oh ah, okay, ignore that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, look, peeps. I'm sorry, ignore that. But they are so, so beautiful on the lids. They blend. Just go check this palette out. Everything will be linked in the bio, of course, and I am not affiliated or sponsored by any of these eyeshadow palettes or products or brands. I just love them and I just want to talk about them. I decided to change the lip color just because the glossiness and the dark color, it just was uncomfortable on my lips. So I changed into a change into, it's like a shirt, uh, my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in very Victoria. I got this like on sale in a Sephora box. I did not buy a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on its own. So next up is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes slash makeup products I own. This is the Ooh La La palette from ColourPop. It has been loved. It's, it's very much scratched off. I got this in, while I was in Chicago. I remember it. I was on a little small trip before my birthday one year. This was when these were just starting to come out. Like this was one of the first, if not the first, I can't remember. It was before pressed glitters. Though this shade, I believe, is close to like a super shock. I'm not sure, but it sure is beautiful. Let me, <laughs> there we go. Now I can hold it. This row right here is stunning. I, I, oh, poodle and soft core. What's this one called? Tickled. I always forget that one. These are so stunning. This, I mean, not every shade is beautiful. Why would I go in? <laughs> Sorry. I love pinks. They are my favorite. I have taken this traveling with me. I have taken this everywhere with me because if I ever need a pink eyeshadow look, I have this right here ready to go. It is such a good buy. I love all of the monochromatic color palettes, things, whatever they're called. I have the like dream big um, collection. I bought it at Christmas time, but this was one of my first. And there's another indent there for you. Just went all under my nail because this has been loved. This has been well used. But uh, I very much recommend this palette if you love pinks. I'm going to show you the swatches of uh, Tickled Sa Sandbar. <laughs> I thought it said Sandra. I was like, I don't remember one being called Sandra. Poodle and Trove. Beautiful. Oh, see? Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Those are just, those are my colors. I'm not going to talk about this long because I have a fully dedicated video on this. And this was mentioned in my like favorite products I'm loving right now. I love this palette. This is the Tasty Peach palette from My Heart Revolution. I can't sing its praises enough. I love all the colors in here. I will show you it again if you haven't seen my other videos. I do recommend you go checking out my full review on it. It just performs beautifully and I love the color story. These are in no particular order. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but I didn't. Oh well. Next up is the Mini Breaker Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Mm, I love this guy. I love the colors in here. This was like my base shade today before I put the glitter on top. I use this a lot during Christmas time because of the purples and the pinks. This is a really good brow shade for me, actually. The quality in here is beautiful. They're so pigmented. 
very very pretty um if you want to create like an eye look just with this you can look at like the rose and kind of think of something that's I've, I've been told that's how you can make an eyeshadow palette work for you but this performs beautifully i got this in one of the mystery boxes last year but it was on my list of palettes to buy one day uh and i'm very glad that i own it i was very shocked i didn't think that i would ever get this in a mystery box and this was a before before he was doing all like the big palettes and stuff like blue blood which i don't have but I wish that I did. These are the shades Purple Punch, Orange Crush, Oral, <laughs> and Bubblegum. So pretty. Mm. See, just look how pigmented they are. So pretty. So stunning on the lids. I love it. This is a palette that has a very special place in my heart. This is by NYX. This is the Sugar Trip Squad palette. This was from one of their Christmas collections a few years ago. Here she is. I lusted over this for months. Uh, that whole collection came out at such a time where I was obsessed with like the candy themes, th themed things, cute things. I love this color story. I love this whole collection. Now some of it is showing up in like Burlington's and TJ Maxx's. Unfortunately, all that I have found has been broken. So it kind of makes me sad. But if I can find non-broken items, I will buy them more. I have other products from the whole line. I bought those like metallic liquid lipsticks. The whole set of them when they were on super sale. Haven't worn them once, like out in public. So maybe not my best purchase. But I adore NYX. I love, 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 love NYX and ColourPop. Well, sorry, got aggressive there for a second. <laughs> but anyways, back to this palette. Love this color story. <laughs> This green is beautiful. Wow. This green, this green is so, so beautiful. Um, Ashley just sent me a post on Instagram. Stressed. Um, <laughs> this purple is so, so fun. Uh, I mean, the whole thing is fun. You know, is it very cohesive? I don't know. That's not my area of expertise to say so. I really like it. Um, I usually use this as an accent palette though. I never really do looks on its own or I will just use one color all over the lid. Just depends on the day and the look, but I love it and I don't think it exists anymore, but it's not going to stop me from loving it. They don't have shade names, so we're just going to swatch. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Mm beautiful. Oh, I love that color palette I just picked out. I love that. That's so pretty. So spring and summer and wow, I want to create an eye look with these four colors. This one is a little bit of a weird one. This is a custom palette that Ashley gave me sometime last year when I was feeling down. This is my very own little Shawn Mendes palette. Um, she like created this. She mod podged it together. On the back is shade names. There are his songs. And uh, she even made, whoops, I <laughs> just fell out, a little, you know, like cover slip with the names on them. She asked me one day what my favorite Sean songs were and I told her and then she picked shades accordingly. So this, these are all single shades. Uh, whoops, I just knocked my coffee a little bit. These are single shades in a Z palette, and I'm pretty sure she said they're from Shop Missé, but they perform really, really well for being a dollar. Uh, I love this color story. I don't use this hardly enough because I am not wearing, whoops, neutrals as much anymore, but they are beautiful. Uh, this is like a really nice light shimmer, good for the inner corner. This is such a pretty duo chrome, like pinky gold. It is really pretty, and it's, it's hmm, such a nice warm tone little palette. So this is Lost in Japan, <laughs> why, uh, what's the brown, Where Were You in the Morning, and Mutual. <laughs> All great, great songs. Ooh, see? Oh, so beautiful. Again, I am just picking out good color stories. I could create an eye look with this too. This is stunning. This is like, I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for pumpkins. It's literally not even spring. It barely spring. I would like to go to the fall, please. Thank you. Speaking of Sean, <laughs> I have another one. No, just kidding. This is actually, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. This is actually the James Charles X Morphe palette. If you, if you couldn't tell by looking at it, um, this got a lot of love when it first came out, when I first bought it, which was not in the first batch. This was a long time ago. Um, anyways, I've hit pan on this one. A lot of these have been loved. It's very dirty because I've used this for lots of creative looks. I literally just used this, my God, the other day. 
<laughs> it's really top heavy if you hold it upside down. Uh, but I didn't want to see James Charles' name on it anymore. So I covered it up with Shawn Mendes. So that's why he's here. I have taken this everywhere. I've taken this to Disney. I've taken this to freelance jobs. It does the job. Like, you know, it is it is a rainbow palette. It is, has neutrals. It's a good palette. Just, I don't like James Charles. I'm not even going to swatch that one because that one's been around for so long. You already know how it performs. Last but not least, this just kind of gets an honorary mention. This is the mini controversy palette from the Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star collab. Here's what she looks like. I love the color story in here, but I do not wear blue shadows hardly ever. And I want that to change because I love blue shadows. And I think they're supposed to look good with brown eyes, like blue. Anyways, maybe not. Maybe that's not color theory. Maybe it's green. Or maybe it's both. I don't know. Did I say blue eyes? I meant brown eyes. My eyes are as dark as the night, so <laughs> brown eyes, whatever. Uh, anyways, but when I first saw this, this actually color store intrigued me more than the conspiracy palette, but got the bundle. And I, I, I do like this color store a lot more. Um, this is like, I keep this on my makeup desk because this is like my everyday just set the lid color after using primer. <sighs> I don't know how to use this one. This is one is called Flat Earth. I just don't know how to use it. It's so, so, so light that I guess the only way would be like, instead of using a white to maybe do a cut crease or, I don't know. It's just a weird shade. It's not dark enough to be on its own. It's just kind of dusty as well. But I love the rest of the palette. Um, this one's a little bit too light as well. But I love these guys. <laughs> I love this. And I mean, I already have this in the conspiracy palette, but I have taken this to travel as well. So I do like it. And again, I don't really want to swatch it because I think you all know how it performs at this point. And with that, I think I am done talking about eyeshadows today. I mean, I'm never done talking about eyeshadows, but for today, I am done. Those are just some of my favorites. I have a whole stack of eyeshadows that I have not touched sitting over there that I want to play with, like the Soap X Revolution one, or whatever it's called, um, a Milani palette, a Storybooks Cosmetics one, even an old NYX one that my mom, I gave it to my mom and she didn't want to use it, so I said, okay, well, I'm taking it back. No, I'm just kidding. She can use it, but she doesn't wear eyeshadow, but I want to play with it. Anyways, uh, I love eyeshadow. I don't think I said that in the opening. I have filmed this video uh, twice now. This is the second time, and the first time I went in a whole rant about eyeshadow and lipstick, Anyways, I love eyeshadow, and I hope that you do too if you clicked on this video. But anyways, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me and liking the video and being here. I don't know. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want. Go watch one of my other videos. Check out my Instagram. Maybe go add me as a friend on the Switch. Whatever you want. I'm playing Animal Crossing 24-7. I'm playing it right now. No, I'm not. I had to take a break from it, so I thought I would film. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!